All right. Hello, Facebook. So, I decided I'm going to start doing some um, Facebook Live videos to talk about my artwork, and I'm going to call them Art and Soul Chats. So, I'll be doing a series of these, especially with my newest artwork. I have a whole new series that I did, and I realized that um, sometimes writing is not the best method for actually sharing um, sharing my heart and what really went into these pieces. So I'm going to start talking about them and start sharing. And I like doing live videos because then people can ask questions and interact. So um, if you have questions, don't be shy. Go ahead and ask. And I'm just going to wait here just a minute, see if anyone gets on and uh, give it some time. But I don't know exactly what these will turn out to be. I just figured I would start. So, um, well, hello. So today I'm going to be talking about my page. Don't be shy. You can ask questions if you want. I'm going to be talking about my painting here behind me. It's called Come Away. And, um, I just want to share what went into the making of this painting, uh, why I chose what I did in subject matter and what it really means to me. Now artwork is something that everybody can, um, you know, interpret however their heart really goes with it. It's not necessarily that my interpretation is the right one, but that's what went into making it for me. And if you get something else out of artwork, that's perfectly fine as well. So um, this has come away. And I chose this scenery because it represents kind of where I wish I could go on a walk with God, basically. I spend a lot of time just in quiet meditation with God, and I prefer being in nature or going on walks or just sitting quietly with no one else around. And this is my favorite piece out of all of the pieces that I've done recently. So. I decided I would start with this one. So, um, I love going like deep, deep into the forest where no one else basically can get to me. And that's what I felt like this one was. Um, it's deeper, deeper into the woods than people normally go. It has kind of an ancient look to it, which is what I was going for with the old broken walls and the vines that were all grown over and all the textures that go into that. So this is kind of a fun piece because I did a little bit of an experiment on it. Um, I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but these bricks here, this is something that you get to enjoy if you see the artwork in person rather than just through prints. Um, but there's actually texture, like a sandy texture. I used a sand medium to do these bricks. So you can actually touch them and they're chunky like sand. And uh, I really liked doing that because I wanted it to have that old kind of gritty look, which is what I was going for. Um, and the kind of the door here, um, to me it was kind of, I was trying to go for something that was like beckoning, if, if that makes sense, like a beckoning call. Um, let me read the scripture that kind of inspired the whole thing first and it'll probably make more sense. So. This is a scripture that goes with this piece. It's from Song of Solomon, chapter 2, verse 10. My beloved spake and said unto me, Rise up, my love, my fair one, and come away. And that's something, that's something that I've experienced with God many times. It started about mm, five or six years ago when I started to really go into like a deeper personal relationship with God, I started to feel him calling me, saying, come away with me, come into a private place, come into that secret place. And it was really a, a feeling inside of me that was like that beckoning call, like come away. And to me, it was just so beautiful when that started happening and I, I just came to my old church, um, for those of you who know me from Cedar Falls, I used to go to Glad Tidings Church in Cedar Falls, and the pastor had given me a key so that I could go to the church to pray 
whenever I wanted and just have privacy. <clears throat> and I would go there really late at night or really early in the morning for the purpose of being completely alone. And that's the same kind of feeling that I was trying to present here because it's deep in the forest. It's far away from everybody else. It's like get away from the world and come away with God. And this door with the light here is that beckoning call. And when I look at this painting, like I sense that deep in my spirit and I, I remember those times with God that I've had where he beckons me and I would go and it would just be so sweet. And that's why this is my favorite painting um, that I've done. Even though I think there are other ones that I've done that are maybe more fun to look at, this is the one that really touches deep, deep, deep in my heart um, because of my experience in God because of it. And uh, it makes me happy. It just has a, a peace and a tranquility that I kind of always look for, I suppose, or try to find even in real life, like I'll go to, I'll go to woods or forests and I have my places that I go to because I'm looking for that special place that I can go and really feel at peace and feel alone. Um, when I was painting this piece, I, I don't know if you can even hear it, but I actually have some sound recording of like rainstorms and like birds chirping and things like that. I listen to those when I do these pieces because they're times of prayer and times of reflection. Um, even as I'm painting them, it's almost like I'm going into that place with God and coming away with Him through my painting. So when I do these paintings, I usually set myself away from everything and away from people and I just spend that time with God. Um, so yeah, so this is Come Away. It's about three feet high and two feet wide, I think. I would have to measure it to be sure. Um, it's quite big. It's about two inches thick, too. It's definitely something that's fun to look at in person rather than on the computer or in a print form because you can't see these textures. Oh, up here, too, there's some quite chunky, some chunkiness to these squiggles up here. I did that on purpose too. <clears throat> Some people wonder why I did it so loosely instead of like making it look realistic or like leaves like that. But um, I actually have <laughs> way more fun doing really impressionistic kind of styles. So really loose strokes, really, um, really messy at times because to me it's very relaxing and it goes into that peace and tranquility even in the making of the painting. I wanted it to be relaxing and peaceful and high detail work is not that for me. <laughs> I don't like doing details. So like it's very rare for me to enjoy it. It just has to be the right painting. This was not that painting. This painting needed to be more loose, um, more, more free. And uh, the lighting was really important too because I wanted to have a really soft glow in that piece and um, just that, again, that feeling of beckoning, so especially having that, that open door with the light coming through, it's calling you in, it's calling you into that deeper place, it's calling deep calls to deep, and that's just how this painting resonates with me. Hi! <laughs> um, and if you have any questions, go ahead and ask. And um, this painting is available for sale. If anybody is interested, I know the Christmas season is coming up and you might be looking for unique gifts. So my original price is, let me look at my notes, is $780, but f until Christmas is over, I'm going to do a discount on this painting and take off $100, so it's $680 until after Christmas, if anybody's interested. Um, I can ship, that's, that's minus shipping and tax cost. Um, we'll, we'd have to work together on shipping if you're interested. Oh, thank you. <laughs> um, I tried. <laughs> I didn't want to come with sweatpants and look like I was just waking up <laughs> on the camera. This is my first art and soul chat, so, um, yeah. I'm a little nervous, actually. It's kind of weird being on Facebook Live 
and talking to the whole world. But uh, yeah, so I think I covered pretty much all of my stuff with this painting. I would love to hear what others have to say about it, what it, um, how you react to it, how did you interpret this painting, and what does it do inside of you, and how do you react to it. I would love to hear those stories, and you can comment on this video or just on my page, or you can even find the post, the first post I did about this painting, and um, add that because I really love to hear how people respond to the artwork because again it's art so it's not just my interpretation it's um, it might be where it came from but it's not necessarily the right answer if that makes sense so again I'd love to hear from all of you um, yeah so I think that's gonna wrap it up for this one again this painting is called come away and it is available and I will be doing some more art and soul chats in the future I may or may not do another one today but I'll try to probably do one tomorrow so thank you so much for listening and um, have a great day